Hey everybody, welcome to the Glimpse channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hello Glimpse Nation, my name is Kate. And since it's still January, I get to wish you all a very happy new year. The Glimpse team has started off the year by talking about self-care and mental wellness. Today, we will interview vocalist, songwriter, teacher, and sound healer, Jennifer Cortez. Hi, my name is Jada, and we're so excited to be collaborating with Jennifer. Together, we will reflect upon what the Glimpse Kids have learned from the short animated film entitled The Reflection in Me, which was written by Mark Cola Giovanni and produced by Arthur Peter H. Reynolds. The focus of our interview with Jennifer will be self-care, self-acceptance, and the power of self-affirmations. We hope to learn from Jennifer's experiences as a vocal and sound healer. Let's get this interview started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Project Action Glimpse team proudly presents Jennifer Cortez. Hey Glimpse kids, hey Glimpse team. Thank you so much for having me today. I am super honored to be here with you all today to answer your questions and to talk about positivity. I know it's been difficult during this time, but we can always do our best every single day to be our best. So thanks so much for having me. Welcome to the Glimpse journey, Jennifer. My name is Samia, and I'm so happy that you have agreed to help us add some positivity to the world. My question for you is about self-care. Over the past year, we have all experienced a whole lot of stress and worry. The Glimpse Kids talk a lot about finding something to anchor yourself when life seems a little too wavy. We're all going through the same storm, but we're not in the same boat. How do you take care of your boat? What are some things you do when taking time for self-care? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kate, Jada, and Samia for your wonderful introduction and your question, Samia, to talk about how I self-care. That's a very good question, especially during the time that we've been going through. Unfortunately, with the isolation and COVID and all the worry and stress happening today, that is something that we all have to deal with. So if you're asking me personally what I do, so basically what I have been doing for myself, 100% music always, always helps my mood. So it doesn't necessarily mean me singing. It could just be simply listening to something I enjoy, lyrics that I enjoy, positive lyrics. I prefer to go to the positive uh, lyrics. Um, I even have listened to affirmations as well for even myself. Uh, I also enjoy going outside. If it's a nice day, maybe I'll go for a walk or a run. So I do jo enjoy that activity with nature. I absolutely love nature. So if I can go for a hike, I would absolutely love that. And I try to take care of myself with the food and the intake that I that I have. You know, it's very difficult when you're stuck inside, you know, to, to be healthy. But I do my best, drink lots of water. So make sure that I'm constantly, I you know, there's lots of work to do, even though we're not actually getting out of the house. But have to remember to hydrate yourself and get sleep get enough sleep. So I've been doing my best to make a schedule for myself, to go to bed at a certain time, to wake up at a certain time, to eat my meals at a certain time, to drink water throughout the day, to take breaks if I'm working. So that's how I self-care. I make sure that I take the time to make a schedule for myself so that my body gets used to it, uh, I under learn to understand my body that way as well. So if I notice if I'm feeling really tired, I pay attention to that. Why am I feeling so tired today? What did I do yesterday? What did I do the day before? What did I eat? So all of those things affect your, you and the way you are. 
uh, and the way you feel. So that's how I, I self-care, as well as sound healing therapy. As you know, that has helped me quite a bit. Um, my own self-affirmations, singing. I enjoy singing. I enjoy creating. So anytime I could be creative, I will do that. Hello, everybody. This is the end of part one of our interview with Jennifer Cortez. Please look for part two as Jennifer returns to continue hanging out with the Glimpse Kids. Thanks for watching everyone. The Glimpse Kids are so happy to share our project action journey with you all. Remember, you can change the world one positive action at a time. There's joy, there's wonder everywhere. When you see the world from the eyes of a child, the eyes of a child. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.